Good evening and welcome to Prime Open Life again. Um, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to talk about this evening. Um, the first thing obviously is welcome to Scotland. The place where yesterday I was melting and today I'm wearing a cardigan because it's so cold. Who knows what's going to happen. They are not lying when they say four seasons in one day. That is easily done here. Um, as I say, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to talk about. However, it's become pretty obvious between the fuel having the largest daily price rise in 17 years or something. Um, and then there was the report of the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD. Um, they have said that the UK is expected to go from the second fastest growing economy in the G7 group to the slowest growing in 2023. Um, they are looking at growth in the UK being growing by 3.6% in 2022, which there's only half of that left anyway, before posting zero growth in 2023. So that is not looking good for our economy. And the food crisis obviously is, is still ongoing. And although there's been reports of discussions taking place between Russia, Turkey and Ukraine to get the wheat, the grains, the sunflower seeds, etc. out of Ukraine, the talks are still ongoing. The talks could be still ongoing for quite some time. Um, personally, I think that it's going to go right down to the wire until it's until the, the next harvest is just about coming in the doors of the silos before they'll let any get taken out. Um, and when I was reading that, I thought, well, what does that mean? And I think that it means that things are not going to get any better for us here in the UK anytime soon. Um, they're going to last a lot longer I think than any of us expect and to be honest I wasn't expecting it to last for that long. I think when I started doing the prepping I'm like oh yeah I'll make sure I've got stuff for a couple of months um, as I'm sure Patrick who's sitting over there in the corner will state my shelves probably have a bit more than a couple of months now um, because I just kept prepping and, and kept buying a little bit here and a little bit here if you watch Appalachian's Homestead with Patera, you'll know that she is by five cans. Yet been there, done that in spades. Um, and I was actually getting to the stage of, right, I'm going to have to tidy up my prep store. Do you know, that'll do me. I'm not honestly sure if it is going to do me now. Because if this is going to last into 2023, if there's going to be no growth, in the UK economy in 2023, and that means everyone's going to be fighting, well, all your companies are going to be fighting against um, any wage rises. The government's going to be saying, oh, we don't have money, etc., etc., and we are still going to be struggling. Everything's going to be costing more. We're going to be getting less for whatever we pay, you know, less bang for our buck, shall we say. And that wasn't what I was expecting. To be honest, I, I genuinely thought that, you know, I'd possibly need my stockpile for three, maybe four months at the most. That would do me. Um, I don't think so. I think we have to look at it much, much further long term, which means the stuff that I planted in my garden that is looking like it's failing dismally, I really need to go and try and rescue that pretty quick and learn how to grow food. Um, just to save me... Cause I need to learn what I can forage. I know that I can forage rose hips locally and make rose hip syrups. I need to go and find out which ones are the elderberries because there's lots of white flowers in the, the hedgerows. I need to find out which ones are the correct ones. Things like that. I need to start doing that because, yeah, I, I think it's worrying. The fuel going up, you know, Patrick's 10 miles away from me. I've got to go and fill the van today. I have a works van that I don't have a card for because I'm admin staff. It, it's like a, a wee bonus type thing. Um, so I fill the van up myself. That is going to cost me a fortune. 
it was one pound eighty when I passed Morrison's yesterday and thought, oh, I'll fill up tomorrow and coming through through the road. I dread to think what it's going to be tomorrow morning when I go and fill up that van. Probably not one pound eighty, I would think. So all these little things that we're having to think of, you know, if I budgeted a hundred, well, I did. I budgeted one tank of diesel to get me in and out, um, which was about seventy odd pound, probably going up to about eighty pound recently. But that was last month. How many times has, has the price of diesel gone up in this, this last month that I'm now going to have to be paying for and filling up the tank because there's no point not filling it up because it's just going to get more expensive by this time next month. So yeah, I think we need to all look at that and just try our best and start looking for different preps. You know, we've we've all got we've all done the same basic preps. We've all got some pasta, we've got some tinned goods. Um, I'm going to have to start looking back at things like the Great Depression, like the wartime, you know, what can we do to save money? Um, someone asked me about what frugal, or, you know, what frugal preps or how do I fit? I don't particularly do anything that I consciously know of, apart from a crochet moan dish, dishcloths with dishcloth yarn. And one of my biggest things is I don't buy clothes and I don't buy furniture. I don't buy pretty things for the house at all. Uh, most of my stuff is either from my parents' house or from friends' houses or somebody that's moving and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll have that. I don't actually have my own style in my house because I use stuff that other people don't want. So that's probably something that's been one of the biggest things that someone who maybe does buy things like that would find difficult. But anyway, there you go. That's my thought for today is definitely not getting better anytime soon and we need to start looking at a bigger picture and looking at more obscure things that are not your normal stuff. So I'm going to go and make a list. See you soon.